So you arrive to camp at 7.30 and do barn chores for about an hour. And then they split all the campers into two groups. Um, so one group rides first and then the other group does a horse management lesson. So the first group will ride while the other does a horse management lesson and then it'll switch. So then you have lunch and then you do the same thing and then you do barn chores and then you leave at 5.30. Um, we first arrive, usually everybody feeds their horses and some people take them out of the stalls and then we'll muck out their stalls and we'll dump their water, get them fresh water, fill up their hay and then we usually all take them for a walk since they've been in stalls all night and they need to stretch their legs. This is Vigo. He's a 21 year old warm blend. I've had him for uh, five years-ish, and we've been eventing for like three years. Yeah. This is Murphy, otherwise known as Merlin. He kind of has two names. Um, he's a Morgan horse, so he's kind of short and stubby. And he's about 16, 17 years old. Is that old for a horse? That's like mid-age, I think. He's uh, been inventing for a lot of years. I've had him for a couple months. And he's kind of impatient. The barn tours, tell us, what, what's, what does that mean exactly? It's really enjoyable. You get to hang out with your, the other people in your barn, and you get to talk, and then just hanging out with the horses is really fun as well. Oi. Come be photogenic. Hi, sweetheart. Come here. Oh, good job. Happy there's a camera here because now I give you lots of food. Yeah. What's okay. his favorite treat? These. What are those? Um, they're just horse cookies. Come on. My horse Vigo, he really likes to lay down at night, so he like lays in all his manure. So he's really gross when he comes out. And yeah, and he makes a big mess out of his stall. So he's not he's not the tidiest horse. No, far from that. And and yours, uh, Ava? He likes to lay down as well and sleep in his manure and he also likes to dump his water all over everything. So in the morning it's pretty wet. How was the lesson? It was good. What did you learn? Uh, I mean, we're working on transitions and just trying to get him better at like transitions and stuff. And I think I'm doing good. He's getting better. Sophia, that works. Get straight. Right now, he's bent to the right. Good. Slow the trot down. Your eyes up. Which way?
smallest part of having a horse is really the riding. And it's the relationship you build with them in the barn. It's handling them, feeding them, checking them over, grooming them, you know, getting them on the trailer, taking them places, familiarizing themselves with new venues. And then they get on a ride for, what, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. This camp is called the Junior Horsemanship Clinic. It is an eventing-based camp. It's just one discipline in the English riding uh, disciplines. And it's geared towards kids uh, age 9 to 17. And uh, they range from you know, pretty much an advanced beginner up through the novice training level. This is a sport for kids who are really willing to overcome challenges and persevere. So that could be something like a horse being afraid of an obstacle and not wanting to go over it. So it's leg pants, leg pants. Um, which is a scary moment because in that moment you could fall and tumble. But if you get nervous, your horse gets nervous. So you have to have this sort of inner confidence in order to get them through that. So we've seen that um, a lot of times throughout the week. Is this a, a camp and a sport for the elite or is this open to anybody? Uh, so it's not just for the elite. There, there are a lot of kind of grassroots kids and families that work their way through barns to, to earn um, either time or money on horses uh, to get practice and work with their trainers uh, somehow are, are sponsored. Uh, we also have a scholarship program to help kids come to this camp and uh, it's, it's really the whole you know, gamut you know, um, of people who can attend this and we don't turn anybody away based on you know, uh, you know, the financial need doesn't matter. You know, it's if you have a financial need, we'll help you out. You just have to apply for it. Um, Green Mountain Horse Association also offers other scholarship opportunities to help kids in their learning um, and education with horses. And we always encourage people to look into those and apply for them because there's there's a lot of a lot of assistance out there that they can apply for. I was standing by the river a little bit earlier, which is a spot that tends to gather people when it's hot. And there were two girls who seemed to be close friends from um, their own barn. So some people know people coming here. Um, and then another rider came up to the stream who was a new friend that they made this week. And earlier on in the week, um, one of those riders had a struggle with her horse out on cross country. And um, she came back just all smiles and ready to share about the success of getting this horse to jump a jump that it hadn't jumped before. And um, the girl who had the success said, oh, and my horse has gotten his confidence back. And her friend said, and you must have your confidence back. I don't think it's people that have the talent. I think it's people that have the patience and the like love to do it. Because I think they may think it's so lovely and fun to just gallop around and jump over jumps, but it's so much more than that. Yeah, it's to be for anyone. If you want to ride a horse and you like the horses, like you don't even have to even if you don't want to like be a big like level competitor, having like going around the low levels or even just riding for fun is like really awesome. And just having a horse is really fun. So it's for anyone. Yeah. Let's go duck. Come on, Nick. I'm okay to get interviewed, I'll stay, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maisie. You're welcome. <laughs> See you later. So if you two, so if you two have your your horses together, what, are they are they friends or are they they don't like each other or? They like each other. They're pretty good friends. Sometimes they squeal. <laughs>